coming up this morning on Bobcat News. Looking to make a change in your schedule? Bobcat News has the information to show you how to make your request. We will also have the latest club information along with weather and sports. Your Bobcat News starts now. <laughs> Good morning, Bobcats. Today is Thursday, August 15th, 2019. I'm Natalie Misak. And I'm Gianna Kim. There will be a beta club meeting for all returning 7th and 8th graders. The meeting will be in room 681 on Friday morning at 845. Now please welcome our special guest, Miss Mills. has started awesome so far. I just wanted to go over a couple of procedures because um, some students are still unsure about what to do. So bus loop procedures. Please make sure you're tuning in at the end of the day for Mr. Jackson, our principal's announcements. This is where he will tell you what buses are not on campus. If your bus is called, please make sure you go to the cafeteria and check the whiteboard. The whiteboard is the most up to date with all the buses that are not on campus. If you go into the cafeteria and you notice that your bus number is not on the whiteboard, that means it's on campus and you must go to the bus loop. Outside by the bus loop, there'll be whiteboards that have specific numbers with bus numbers next to them. Each of those are telling you where the buses is in the lineup. Please make sure you count the buses if you're unsure of exact location of your bus. Also, I wanted to give a big shout out to bus number 1823 and 1831. Yesterday, their bus did not show up, so we put them on a different bus and they did a phenomenal job of making sure they got on the correct bus at the right time. So again, thank you. Also, cafeteria procedures. When you are done eating lunch, adults should be walking around with trash cans. If they do not come by you with a trash can, please locate the nearest trash can and throw away your stuff. We want to make sure our campus is neat and clean at all times. Now, on to some good news. Because A and B Lunch have done phenomenal with picking up their trash and leaving a cafeteria in the best condition possible, Mr. Jackson has given us the all clear to have lunch in the portable cafeteria. You heard correctly, A and B lunch only can now eat in the cafeteria and the portable cafeteria. C lunch, unfortunately, you still have only the cafeteria. Please make sure you're picking up after yourself. Eventually, once everybody has had the opportunity to clean up and show that they have um, proven responsible enough to clean up, we will be getting um, privileges for outside. So that means you can sit at the picnic tables, you can listen to music. So that's our eventual plan is to get you outside. But again, you have to show that you're responsible enough to be able to do that. One more announcement. Tardy sweeps will be coming eventually. If you're new to Bridgewater or a sixth grader, tardy sweeps are when we have all teachers lock their doors and you have to come meet me in the cafeteria. There's some consequences that occur, but I wanted to make sure and give you the heads up so that you're planning now with the six minutes you have in between classes. Don't run, but make sure you're walking with a purpose. Thank you guys so much and we can't wait to see you later. Thanks for joining us. Do you love science? From building gliders to space exploration, the Bridgewater Science Department has a variety of opportunities to explore the world of science. You and your parents are invited to our Science Club Interest Night here on campus on August 22nd at 5.30 p.m. in the portable cafeteria. Come check out all the clubs we have to offer and meet the science teachers leading them. Are you looking to change your schedule? We asked Ms. Mutters for the latest information on how students can request a schedule change. The scheduling process will look a little bit different now that we've started school. So when students are wanting to change or edit any class that they're currently in, we are going to have a add drop form that will be available starting Wednesday after school. And you have a few days to complete that form, which will let us know if you want to make a change to one of your electives. Students can expect a Google form. I actually have an example. 
And this form will allow them to complete a few questions to tell us what classes they don't want anymore and what classes they do want. And based on availability, which means that there has to be a seat in the class, our counselors will be making a change to your schedule. It is not a different process than last year. However, we did decide to change a few things about the process. And what that means is we did not open up the link to make changes on the first day of school. What we found last year was a couple kids actually liked their classes that they originally thought they wouldn't like. So we've changed it to where you go to your class for three days before you request a change. The deadlines for the schedule change process will be on Monday morning of next week. So the link will open tomorrow, Wednesday, August 14th, and we'll close next Monday in the morning. So we'll actually have it on a time schedule so that our counselors can start making the changes. Interested in joining the award-winning Cadet Guard? We will have an interest meeting and first rehearsal this coming Monday after school until 7.15 p.m. Stop by room 620 to pick up more information. Attention Pokemon trainers, are you searching to be the very best like no one ever was? Whether it's to TCG, anime, or video game, if you love Pokemon, then this is the club for you. The first interest meeting will be in Mr. Salazar's room, Portable 27, next Monday at 4 p.m. It's time to check in with Owen Kingry and get the latest Bobcat weather update. Good morning, Bobcats. Here's how your Bobcat day is shaping up. Do you like lots of humidity and rain? Then you're in luck. More of the same today. We will have a high of 89 degrees and rain in the afternoon. Now let's take a look at your five-day weather forecast. More of the same. Warm temperatures and rainy skies continue in the afternoon. Now over to sports with Alexa. Hey sports people, it's Alexa. Soccer tryouts continue today. The first game of the season will be on August 28th as Bobcats hit the road against Sunridge Middle School. Be sure to come out and support your Bobcats. Now it's time to throw it back to our main anchors, Nally and Gianna. Thank you, Alexa. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching Bobcat, Bobcat News and make, make it a great day. Follow Bobcat News on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube to find out everything that happens off the air with Bobcat News. Bobcat News is a presentation of Bridgewater Productions at Bridgewater Middle School in Winter Garden, Florida.